These top tips will help you keep your kitchen clean and organized every day. Hey everyone, I'm Coral and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, click that subscribe button down below and hit the bell for new videos every week. Doesn't everyone want a clean and tidy home? The problem is there are so many things that can get in the way of that and make it too overwhelming to keep up with. And the kitchen is one of the most used areas of your home, so it's really easy for things to get super messy and out of hand. These 17 tips are simple things that you can do often or every day to take control and keep your kitchen clean and organized all the time. Tip number one is clear off your counters. It can be very easy for things to feel messy if your counters are cluttered. One way I like to keep our counters clear is I don't like to keep appliances out on the counter. So things like our toaster, I will put them away into the cabinet or the pantry whenever we're done with them. Same with the rice cooker. Anything pretty much besides our coffee maker does not get to stay out on the counter. Another example of this is our dish strainer. I do wash our pots and pans and some other dishes by hand and I always don't like to dry them. So I have a dish strainer, but I don't like to keep it out on the counter. I actually have a special cabinet that I keep it in. I have a pad underneath it that absorbs the water so I don't have to worry about ruining the cabinet. And I put the wet dishes in there, let them dry, and then put them away later. That way they're not out on the counter drying. Another way to keep your counters clear is to just not let clutter accumulate. This can sometimes be hard to do, but don't get in the habit of setting things on your counter and just letting things accumulate. That will make things feel cluttered and less organized. And also wipe off your counters pretty often. Counters can get really sticky and messy. You're in there a lot. Wiping down the counters can do so much to make your kitchen feel cleaner. Tip number two is to give everything a place. So if you have a specific place for everything to go, you won't have as much of a problem for keeping things organized. Have places where you keep receipts, where you keep pens, where do your dishes go when they're drying. By not leaving things out and putting things into a place, things are not gonna accumulate in your kitchen. Along with this, invest in some storage solutions. If you have storage solutions for things, you're much more likely to put things away. My favorite storage solutions in the kitchen are the baskets we have in our pantry. They just help keep things a lot more organized. I have a place for breakfast bars, a place for snacks, a place for fruits and vegetables. So having these baskets helps me have a place for them to go. Another great example is spice organization. Spices can get such a mess in your pantry or cabinets or out on your counters. If you invest in organization for your spices, it will keep them a lot neater and nicer. I also like to use drawer organizers in my kitchen. It helps to keep utensils and other things organized in the drawer so you're not just throwing things in a drawer and it's looking a mess. Some of my favorite ones are the bamboo drawer organizers, especially for our silverware and utensils. And I also have some DIY organizers that I use in our kitchen as well. I have videos for all of these different storage solutions and I will link them down below in the description. Tip number four is empty your dishwasher right away. For me, I found that the quickest way that I can get a messy kitchen is by not emptying my dishwasher and letting more dirty dishes pile up in the sink. So if you make it a habit to unload your dishwasher every time that it's clean, you're not gonna have dirty dishes piling up in your sink and making a messy kitchen. Along with that, tip number five is to make it a rule to not leave dirty dishes in the sink. It can be super tempting to leave dirty dishes there, but that's it easy way to get things messy and disorganized. If you're always unloading your dishwasher right away, you're always gonna have an empty dishwasher in order to just quickly rinse off the dishes and throw them in the dishwasher. So with all of these things, if you make them into a routine, it makes them a lot easier. So for example, you can empty the dishwasher at a certain time. If you like to run the dishwasher at night, sometime in the morning, you need to have a time where you are going to empty the dishwasher. Another example I have of this is our pet bowls. 
that's where we keep the water and the dog food in our kitchen every Monday I always change it out and it's part of my routine so it always gets done and taken care of tip number seven is clean up messes right away if you have a spill or have a mess in your kitchen don't leave it for later that's an easy way to make it a lot harder to get up deal with it right away and take care of it in my opinion this also applies to the mail and any bags or shipping boxes that you get if you deal with it right away it's not going to accumulate on your counter take care of it put it where it's supposed to go and move on my next tip is to display your most used items on trays or in containers so if you have things that you use often it just makes sense to have them out but putting them out on the counter is going to look cluttered if you use trays or containers it's going to make it look a lot more organized a couple examples we have of this is in our coffee bar. I have multiple different trays in our coffee bar. There's one tray where we have the coffee grounds and our French press. There's another tray where I put all of our coffee syrups on display. It's nice to have these things out, but it looks a lot more organized because it's on a tray. When it's on a tray or in some kind of container, instead of your eye viewing it as multiple things out on the counter, then being grouped together on a tray makes your eye see it as one thing and makes it look way more organized. Another way that you can do this is with spices. If you like your spices out on the counter, find some kind of container or storage solution to put them in and display them with. That way they look a lot nicer. You can also do this with cooking utensils. If you have cooking utensils that you would rather have out and on the counter instead of in a drawer, get a cute, nice container to put them all in so they look nice and neat on your counter. Tip number 10 is clean as you go. So along with taking care of messes right away, whenever you're cooking or doing anything in the kitchen, clean it up as you go. It makes it so much easier. While water's boiling, while you're waiting for something else to cook, quickly rinse things off, put them in the dishwasher, clean things. It's the best way to keep things under control instead of having one huge mess at the end. Tip 11 is wipe things down after you are done with this. One huge example where I do this is on our stove. Anytime we're done cooking something on the stove, I take the grates off and wipe down the surface of the stove because we have a stainless steel cooktop and if anything gets on it, it looks absolutely awful. So whenever we're done cooking, I always spray it down and wipe it down. Same for the counters. Wipe down the counters whenever you're done. Wipe down appliances whenever you're done. And that's going to make it to where you don't have one big mess to clean up all at the same time if you clean it as you use it. Two of my favorite ways to do this are just with soapy water. So if you're washing dishes in the sink, you can take a rag or a paper towel and dip it in the soapy water and use that to wipe down the surfaces or the counters or anything else. My other favorite is vinegar and water. I talk about that in my other cleaning videos. That is my absolute favorite way to clean off the counters and appliances. And it's a nice clean DIY cleaner. My next tip is to clean out your fridge once a week. Your fridge can get a lovely accumulation of leftovers and expired products and just things that you forget about and don't use. So like I said about creating a routine, find one day a week where you clean out your fridge. I like to do mine the night before trash day. That way I can dump a bunch of junk and expired food into the trash and I know it's not gonna smell and it's gonna completely go out the next day. Or you can also do it whenever you are bringing home groceries. I found that sometimes that's an easy way or a time that I like to do it because I have all of these extra things in the fridge that I know I don't need and I need space for the new stuff. So sometimes that's also when I clean out the fridge. At the same time, if you find any messes in your refrigerator, that is a good time to clean it up don't save it for later because again you'll have a bigger mess and I would recommend completely cleaning out your fridge about once or maybe twice a year depending on how dirty it gets I have a whole entire fridge clean with me video that I will link right here that walks you through all the steps that you need to take in order to do a complete fridge clean out tip number 13 is to make your sink sparkle with bleach so you are using your sink all of the time and it's going to get dingy and dirty. Give it a nice refresh and make it sparkle by spraying it down with a cleaner with bleach. I usually just use like a Clorox bathroom cleaner with bleach in it. Spray it down in the sink, let it sit for a second. 
wipe it down with a sponge and then rinse it down with water, you will be surprised how much better your kitchen will look if you do this. Along with this, my next tip is to save some citrus fruits and peels for your garbage disposal. If you are eating an orange or using a lemon or a lime as a garnish, whenever you're done with it, don't throw it away. Throw that bad boy down your garbage disposal. Whenever you turn on your garbage disposal, the next time it's going to chop it all up and the citrus oils in it will help give your garbage disposal a nice refresh and it will smell really good. My next tip is to clean out your microwave. Sometimes microwaves get so gross and disgusting with stuck on food. Once a week, go through and wipe down the inside of your microwave with soapy water on a rag or a paper towel or some vinegar and water. That way you don't have gross stuck on messes inside your microwave all the time. Tip number 16 is get some oven liners. So lots of times whenever you're cooking in the oven, things drip down to the bottom of the oven, then they burn, they get stuck on, gets gross and disgusting disgusting and you're going to have to clean it up. If you spend a couple of dollars to invest in some oven liners that go in the bottom of your oven, these are super easy to just pull out and wipe off or rinse off and pop back in the oven. That way you don't have to do a hard scrub on your oven. And tip number 17 is do a clean sweep once a day. So as much as you try, you're probably going to still get things that accumulate on your counters and have to be taken care of. Once a day, go through and do a whole clean sweep, pick things up, put them where they need to go. That way your counters are nice and clear. For more ways to keep your home clean and organized, you'll want to check out my free guide of the top 10 home organization essentials you need right now. To get it, just click on the first link down below in the description. That will take you to a page where I ask for your name and email address. Just pop in your name and email, that way I know where to send it. If you want a simple, easy, and cheap way to update your home decor, click right here to go to my Etsy shop. There you'll find inspirational, feel-good printables for your home. And if you're looking for more cleaning tips, click right here for my cleaning playlist. There you'll find DIY cleaning products, clean with me videos and cleaning reviews. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.